Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland, coming to you from ITW 2020. Joining me today is Mark Schmidt, CTO of Orca Way. Mark, welcome to JSA TV. Hey, Laura, thanks for having me. For those who don't already know, could you tell our viewers about Orca Way? Yeah, uh, Orca Way's been a solution provider for 20 years in the telecom industry. Uh, we provide software for analytics of your routing environment, of your invoicing, billing, um, everything for reporting against your supplier cost management infrastructure, um, and really optimizing the overall business for your operations department. Mark, I understand that Orca Wave has exciting news to share at ITW. Can you tell us more about it? Yeah, absolutely, Laura. Um, recently, we released a major update to our auto-loading suite of services. Uh, OrcWave has been producing automation software to really manage your supplier cost sheets. Um, instead of taking your supplier costs and codes and converting them into a more standardized format for the internal operations teams, we're automating the entire aspect of the process. Uh, the recent update has allowed for full transparency. Um, our customers can now implement automated rules, automated error checking. Um, if you want to change data on the fly, all of that can be done automatically through our new rules engine. Uh, the other big advantage of this new update is that your suppliers can now email their rate sheets in directly. Your operations team doesn't have to touch anything. Um, we can take it from their native cost sheet format. We can trans uh, normalize the file and pop it right into Blue Water. Or if you don't want to use Blue Water, it's a standalone service. We can leverage your own infrastructure and import it directly into your switching environment. And so your costs are in there as quickly as possible and you have the data when you need it. Exciting times. Well, thanks for sharing that news. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell us why, why OrcaWave is particularly good at providing this product. You know, OrcaWave Orca Wave was one of the early adopters way back when, when everyone was moving to more of a SaaS type platform offering. Um, we've got experienced developers, uh, data architects. Uh, our customer support team are all uh, database uh, experts. And it's, it's different than other solution vendors out there when you, you may need more of a partner relationship with your service provider. And, and we've been fulfilling that role, like I said, for more than 20 years. Um, OrcaWave is also an early adopter in more of the blended SaaS environment. You know, the, the movement in the industry um, in the last 10 years is really to be able to turn up virtualized platforms on AWS, Azure, if you've got your other solution providers. Uh, OrcaWave was one of the early people into that. Um, we're also now offering a blended environment. You don't have to have the entire SaaS offering in the cloud. We can put aspects of our software on premises and we've been doing that for a long time and, and, and we're experts in the field. You hinted at it a little bit, but I'd like to, to go a little deeper. So you mentioned you've been in the software space for the past 20 years and in the telecom software space for the past 15 years. You mentioned what's coming up and ahead. So tell us more where you see the market heading for your carrier clients over the next five years. You know, it's, it's really gonna be focused on microservices. Uh, We've seen, we've seen trends with the switching vendors trying to pack more and more feature functionality in what would have traditionally been an OSS, BSS provider. Um, but businesses don't want to purchase an entire forklift of their infrastructure. Um, and that's really what we've been specializing in is fitting those specific needs that a business has. Um, our Blue Water software is switch agnostic. We work with all different types of switching vendors and we have for a long time. Um, and we're working to provide those microservices. So, if you want to just focus on your CDR analytics, we've got a module that can do that, and you don't have to forklift all of your software. Um, if you want to optimize for OBR routing, uh, we can work directly with your switching vendor and we can get that in there. Or if you want to use the OrcaWave routing as a service option, um, that's something. And again, you don't have to replace your entire infrastructure to do it. And we offer that through our SaaS platform. We can also put uh, items on premises within your own environment. Um, but again, I, I do see that the, the focus on those microservices and, and really getting away from it's an it's an all inclusive box where you get everything that you need. Sounds great. Well, where can our viewers go to learn more about OrcaWave? Yeah, yeah, you can find us at OrcaWave.net on the web. Um, we're also going to be presenting at the ITW. Uh, 
uh, feel free to reach out on Oracle Wave. We, we, our, our salespeople are standing by. Um, I'd be happy to talk to anybody personally too if you've got some technical questions. Uh, I don't usually talk to a lot of uh, sales folks and, and it's, it's always nice to have that one-on-one -on -one, uh, interaction. Okay, great. You heard it from Mark. You know where to find him and his team at, uh, at ITW and beyond. Thank you so much, Mark, for sharing with us today. We appreciate it. Yeah, Laura, thank you. I appreciate it. And thank you, viewers, for tuning into JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Thank you.